Well, hello today. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I am wonderful. Thank you so much. So why don't we start off with you telling me a little bit about um, who you are, what your position is, who you work for, which is, should be pretty obvious because you're wearing the blue team shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but please share with us. Sure. Well, my name is Melissa. I go by Mel. Uh, I work at Fastenal. I've been at Fastenal for more than 10 years. My entire professional career actually has been with Fastenal. Um, I'm from nearby in the area, one of the small towns near you. And I went to RCTC for community college and then transferred to Winona State uh, to get my bachelor's degree in human resources and business administration with a minor in management. So I graduated in 2012, um, but I started working at Fastenal actually uh, in my junior year. So almost when I was finishing up at Winona State and um, I was just really trying to find a job that related to my major and to see if, you know, is this the, really the, the career path for me? <laughs> and uh, so I did. I got a part-time position in human resources at Fastenal as a college student which was awesome, you know, able to earn some internship credit, get some real world business experience. And they offered me a full-time job in human resources by the time I graduated. And then later on that year, I was actually promoted to a manager within the human resources department. So if you have, yeah. if you don't know already, Fastenal really prides themselves on promotion from yes. within. And my yes. story is one of of several. <laughs> yes. That That's, I, I mean, no matter where you are with Fastenal, that is so common that you, you come in at probably starting out in an entry level position, but Fastenal takes such good care of the training and the education and identifying the, the superstars and making sure that they, um, they are they fit they feel welcome and that they are built to the potential that they have so it's it, the stories we hear are amazing and really if you go um anywhere around town you see blue team blue fastenal shirts everywhere <laughs> clearly we're the largest employer there in winona <laughs> uh yeah i'm thinking so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, so for, well, you, it, okay. It was human resources, business administration. And what was your minor? Management. <sighs> That's quite the task to take on two different <laughs> majors and a minor. So, wow. How long did that take? Well, so I was a five-year senior. Um, I, I ended too. up taking a semester off actually between when I was at RCTC and got my associate's degree there. I took a semester off because my lease at the place that was living in Rochester still I needed to pay it. So I needed yep. to live there. <laughs> yep. um, I didn't have any financial support from from family. So everything was on my own. So I tried to be very strategic, you know, with everything that I was doing and uh, and get the most bang for my buck too when I, I had a couple majors there at, at Winona State. Yes. Well, I mean, you have two majors and a minor in in five years. That's that's nothing to shrug at. I mean, that's a really awesome record for that. So, so when you were um, back, you know, deciding is is business management, HR, is that my my field? Was there, uh, you know, something specific that kind of sent you in that direction? You know, it's really funny. I was just talk, thinking about this the other day. You know, I've been with Fastenal now ten years, so I've actually been reflecting quite a bit on just my overall career so far. Um, and thinking back to around that time, well, when I graduated high school from Houston, I um, I did not know what I wanted to do at all, but most of my friends were gonna go to school for nursing or to be teachers. So I decided to be a nursing major <laughs> because they were basically, and I really just didn't know what to do. Um, I'm a first generation a college student too in my family. Um, and so that's what I chose. And I think I chose my, or I changed my major maybe like four times at RCTC, just within those first couple of years with my general degree, I tried social work and, uh, and business. And I kept thinking about business. So then when I was uh, living in Rochester, going to RCTC, I also had to work to pay for my living. And I worked at Macy's in the shoe department and sold shoes for a few years, um, which was really fun. Uh, but that's actually how I saw more of the business side. Obviously, you know, I was doing more sales and, and marketing and that sort of thing. Um, 
And there was a couple people that I worked with who had full-time careers and then they worked at Macy's on the side uh, as their oh. part-time fun job, they would say, or probably to get the discount. <laughs> um, yeah. And so one of them had a full-time career in human resources. So when I would work with her, I would just ask her about it. So it really just came back to networking. And, and I thought, you know, I could really see myself doing that. I kept thinking about business and I really like interacting and engaging with people and professional development is something that I'm passionate about, not just for me, but helping students, uh, whether they're in high school or in college, just really develop themselves. And, and become career ready, basically. So um, so I tried it and that's kind of where the starting point was, just networking, asking questions. Mm -hmm. So in your in your role at Fastenal, are you um, recruiting for a specific department section? Is that how they kind of separate that out? Sure, so the human resources department at Fastenal is very, specialized at a small company you know there may be only one two or three hr professionals and they do they're called hr generalists and they'll do everything from payroll to benefits to hiring and termination and training uh, but fast and all since we're so large we have very specialized teams that do all of those functions so there is a payroll team there is a benefits team an insurance team a training team and then my team my team we are the diversity and compliance team we're responsible for a few different things. The primary one is the hiring process and then employment law and just general recruitment. Um, so my team is the team who posts all of the job openings for Fast and All. Whenever there's a, a new position available anywhere in the country or internationally, those managers locally, when they have the need, they let us know. We post them online. And then once some people start applying to the jobs, then my team actually screens all of the applications and resumes for all of the positions in the company in the US and Canada and wow. Puerto Rico and Guam anyways. Um, and so then we'll do the phone interview. So all of that first part of the hiring process is centralized through my team, which is really fun. We stay really busy because um, of all the applications that are coming through uh, for, for all of Fast and All's 3,200 locations. We, usually screen between seven to 10,000 employment applications per month. Wow. So we if stay very, very If you need help busy. screening in Guam, you just let me know. I'm yes. right there. I will apps. <laughs> I can take the hit, hit and, and go to Guam for you. I mean, <laughs> oh. <no. laughs> well, and, and that's the fun part. We're all located in Winona. Oh, wow. So and you're everywhere. Centrally. So There's you like, guys have. on my team right now. You had the virtual employment process down before it was necessary. Yes, uh, we're, we're basically the gatekeeper though. So, though. so when people apply, they have to get through my team basically. And once they do that, if they can prove that they meet those qualifications in the job posting, then their application materials will go to that manager in Guam or maybe Willie in the manufacturing department or mm -hmm. other um, different teams within the company. But you got to make it through us to get to them, mm -hmm. uh, which is where your offer will come from is, is them. You know, they make those final hiring decisions. So then what what are you looking for in a fastenal person? It, you know, if we could kind of generalize that um, to an overall personality because uh, I, I mean what you're looking for in a CNC machinist is different than an HR person or things like that but in general what are you looking for for Fastenal? Sure so Fastenal has four really core values that we live by and we really look for that with every single person we hire um, even our interview questions fun fact are geared towards these four core values um, so the first one is ambition. You know, we're always looking for someone who has a really strong work ethic, wants to work hard, wants to succeed. We promote from within. So we're looking for those people who want to prove themselves and keep advancing with us as we continue to grow. Um, innovation is another core value of ours. Our entire business model as a company was founded on an idea to dispense nuts and bolts out of a vending machine, which didn't happen back then, but eventually, uh, it, it became possible. And so we're, we're the leader in industrial vending. And so we're always looking for new ideas and ways to problem solve and to do things to make our business better and to help us keep growing. So that real, real true innovation side is something that 
that I really love about the company. Um, and then another value is teamwork. So being able to work in pursuit of our common goal as a company, our mission is growth through customer service. Mm -hmm. So no matter what position you're in, you know, we have that as the common goal and in being able to, to work together as a team, to collaborate, to make decisions and to, and to grow and provide really great customer service. Mm -hmm. uh, and then integrity. And that's really just doing the right thing, no matter whether everyone's watching you or no one is. Mm -hmm. um, and really just being honest with, with your work and, and in your life. Mm -hmm. So we have, I mean, uh, you know, Fastenal is a manufacturing company, uh, but not all departments in Fastenal are factory related. Um, the reason I say that is because, you know, typically, People under 18 cannot work on a manufacturing floor. Mm -hmm. However, we have quite a few students who work in picking because yes. that's not the floor. <laughs> um, and really what I have heard from almost every one of them is pride in getting their work done, that I picked the orders correctly, everything checked out, um, we got them to the customer. That, like there was a lot of, there's every single one of them talks about, well, today I, I didn't pick any errors, or, you know, that kind of stuff. They're really very proud. The other thing is that once you hit 18, um, and I, I guess apparently this is a negative for that department supervisor, but it's common that once you turn 18, you get scalped by other departments. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that is a great entryway into um, you know, anything manufacturing, at least, you know, until you turn 18 or until you get that, that degree, depending on the position that you're applying for. Um, mm -hmm. So there are areas in departments within Fastenal that you can work in before 18. It's not just the factory floor. I right. think another really important thing for people to understand is there's absolutely that, um, the stigma, the dirty hand stigma about manufacturing. And if you have not been on the floor in Fastenal, it's easy to understand why you would think that, but it is absolutely not the case. Right. It practically sparkles. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do a good job. We like to keep our work environments clean and safe. Yes. And it's not that hot, sticky, dirty, you know, I mean, there are areas and machines that do get hot, but for the most part, Wow, it's very clean. It's very well lit. The people are very well dressed. It's not like they're, you know, covered with grime and everything. Or if they are, it's not Fastenal's fault. It's because they came in after working on their car. No. <laughs> <laughs> yep, very well could be. <laughs> but it's not that same um, stigma of manufacturing that it used to be. There are robots. There are robots on the floor. It's yeah. fascinating to me. Yeah, we're really, really innovative with with all of that technology and the automation to to make our company better, to be able to serve our customers really faster than the competition, but still being able to provide these really incredible jobs, like you said. The the positions in the warehouse that that many students under 18 are working in, picking, receiving, shipping, packing, those are so depart so important, those departments are, because we need them to be able to get the product to our customer really fast. And mm -hmm. our prior CEO even started out working in one of those warehouse positions and worked their way up. So wow. yes, we, we do have a little bit of like movement and, and poaching after someone has worked in a department maybe for a year, then you wanna try to recruit yeah. them for another department. But as long as they're growing with fast and all, that's what's important to us, whether they're advancing to manufacturing or maybe they advance from the warehouse into a corporate office, if they're majoring in HR, We'll hire someone in, in human resources or IT or accounting, you know, as they're a freshman in college pursuing that that relevant degree. We don't have that work experience, that education requirement uh, for, for freshmen and sophomores and, and juniors and seniors. So we offer a lot of really great opportunities. Well, and I think it's also important to remember that because Fastenal is so big, it's like you're running a city. 
You know, yeah. <laughs> you don't necessarily have the street sweepers, but you do have the floor cleaners. But the, that concept, you know, everything it takes to make a city run, the people, the places, the infrastructure, um, you, I'm guessing, I don't know anybody on this team, but you've probably got construction teams that have to work on different projects within the business. You've got maintenance teams. You, you know, if you guys are, you know, buying, a new plant or building a new like a new office in downtown Winona yeah. that 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 there's a whole team dedicated to that acquisition and building and it, it has nothing to do with manufacturing yeah except absolutely. that it's a manufacturing facility so there's mm -hmm. there are opportunities within Fastenal no matter what direction you want to go mm -hmm. so if a student starts there in high school there absolutely is that opportunity to progress into the field that you're eventually going to be going into. Yeah, absolutely. And there's every kind of opportunity, you know, that it would take to run a city or to run a business is here in Winona at our headquarters. We have everything from sales, IT, accounting, finance, product development, supply chain, marketing, um, manufacturing and warehouse and drivers, you know, semi-truck drivers and and industrial services, like people who weld things and fix tools and fast solutions experts who are working on our vending machines and making sure they're assembled right, putting tracking together to, to give reports to customers and analytics teams. I mean, it's, it's really endless, especially here in Winona, but outside of Winona, we're really known for, we're, we're here, you know, we're really known for manufacturing, but outside of Winona, we're known for our sales and our supply chain because we have we have nine manufacturing locations, but we have mm -hmm. 3,200 sales in supply chain or branch locations. Mm -hmm. So that's mostly what people know us for. Oh, they sell fasteners or nuts and bolts and, and tools and things like that. We sell the construction supplies and safety products, you know, all the yep. masks, gloves, gowns, shields, all of that product that everyone has been so familiar with, especially the past year. Um, we, we sell that, we supply that to customers. So we've been very, very successful. I have to tell you, and this is probably something I should tell many, many people. I was um, randomly looking for a campground to stay in in West Virginia, and one of the pictures was of a fastenal truck parked right in front of a camper. So somebody in West Virginia who worked at Fastenal was visiting this campground, and it's the picture that they use as their like cover photo saying oh look at our beautiful panoramic picture and right there in the middle is the fastenal truck so oh, that's cool. you, have to, you have to send they're me that all over still, place. still that picture i'd love to see it it's it's I so cool yeah to, anytime I'm on a vacation or or driving around um you just start when you realize how big fastenal is you start seeing our branches in random cities or states that you may be in or visiting or driving through or you see our trucks or our semis or our pickup trucks on the road, you start to really recognize that. And it's pretty fun. It is. Well, like I said, if you ever need help in Guam, maybe that's my, you know, what I do when I grow up, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so kind of flipping back to um, to a focus on HR, let's talk about education and training. Obviously, you have the bachelor's, multiple bachelor's degree. Is, that, is HR one of those um, careers that you really suggest uh, master's degree or you really have some pretty amazing career opportunities as with a bachelor's degree? Yeah, we, we really, we don't require a master's degree. We actually, in most cases, don't even require a bachelor's degree. Um, we, we really pride ourselves on training and development internally. So we have our Fast and All School of Business that has every kind of training to, for people to learn about our product lines and how we sell, but then also uh, communication and organization and time management and leadership development. So there's all kinds of trainings depending on the career path that you want to pursue. So uh, even associate's degrees or someone who's, who's pursuing a degree within human resources or IT or, or accounting, often we'll, we'll consider those people who are going to the technical schools, of course, and, and working towards those associate level degrees. And that's perfectly fine for us. Once you, once you get into Fast and All, it's really about how you are, how ambitious you are and how innovative you are and using those values that I was talking about earlier to really grow your career with the company. But we don't, we try not to put 
many education requirements on jobs because we really want it to be about the training and development and, and the ambition of each individual employee. Now, do you get to spend any time on the floor ever? Like, you know, is there a cross training or something like that, that you get to be out there and experience things? Yeah, we're really, really good. I mean, not, not as much now during when COVID no. has been happening, no. but prior to that, <laughs> If someone wants to shadow a branch and see what it's like to work uh, in sales, you know, I've done that. So I, I asked to do that. And, and our, our culture just really shows in every location that we're in. I was visiting family in Florida and um, all my family, they were going to work one day. And so I thought, you know what, there's a fascinating branch down the street. I'm going to tag along with them for the day. And, uh, and so I worked too. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> that branch and just, just shadowed around to learn more. So all of our, our teams, they're so welcoming and encouraging and want us to learn more about the company. And ultimately, you know, you know, that's what really helps keep us stay with the company is to just keep learning and seeing what opportunities there are. Great. I was going to ask you um, what demand is like, but I, I with a company you're big, as big as you guys, you will always have job openings, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Yeah, we always will. We actually have more job openings now than we have in a very long time. But in general, you you can always see around 900 or 1,000 job openings listed on our website, careers.fastenal.com. Uh, and recently, we've had over 1,300 job postings on our website. There's more than 1,300 on there right now. And, you know, that's for the entire nation and internationally. So all of our locations and openings are listed on the website, but um, even in Winona, there's often times there's a lot of even 50 job openings. Right now, I think there's over 60 job openings in Winona. So, wow. and that ranges from the distribution center to accounting, other administrative positions, you know, operations and sales and supply chain and manufacturing and every wow. area of our company we're hiring in. So. Well, we've got over a thousand students starting summer in a couple of months. So let's hope a few of them come your way. <laughs> yeah, we could definitely use them. That's for sure. Yeah. So um, so to just kind of wrap this together, any other advice you have for students who are kind of trying to find their path? Sure. Um, you know, you can learn a lot by looking at a company website and just reading about their what the company values are. And something that I never really thought about when when I was in high school or college and getting my first real jobs, I never really thought about, you know, what is what does the company value and what do I personally value? I, I just didn't think about that. Um, but I encourage people to take the time to think about, you know, what's important to you? You want to work for a company that you're happy with, that has a really fun culture, that has opportunity for growth. Um, so find a company that that matches what is important to you. And if you're able to do that, then then you really won't be working because you'll just be having fun and getting paid, <laughs> which is always a great thing. Yeah, that's always a benefit. It, my brother's philosophy is as long as you have enough money to buy an ice cream at the end of the day, you're all good. There you go. That's a good one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's better than just an ice cream, but. That's yeah. a good philosophy. So, well, thank you again for taking time today. I appreciate you sharing all of this information that you've shared with us. I am going to stop recording here. Uh, so we'll